All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about how to anticipate stop runs, right? So there's a few different times where you want to be on the lookout for stop runs to be occurring. So a key time that we like to look out for stop runs, I'm going to use this Euro USD from today, for example. So I want you to take your focus, your attention right here. Look at my cursor. What do we see right here? Well, what we saw first things first this morning on Euro USD is that it actually came down and it tested some higher time frame support right here. So we came down and we tested that higher time frame level of support right there early on. See this? Right after midnight, we come down and we test that level right here. And what happens? Because it is a level of support until it cracks it, then it becomes resistance, but it's support starting off. Price comes down and it tests that support and it ramps up. And I actually had somebody ask me today, would this be a buy setup that I would be interested in? right? Because they see this, they see it come down into this higher time frame point of interest and it comes up and it cracks this high right here. It has the fair value gap, right? Look at that. We got the fair value gap. We got the close. So why would this not be considered a buy setup that I would be interested in? Why would it not? Because we're implementing time here. Okay. I've taught this in depth, you know, in several of my live streams, like I'll, I'll probably go over it every single, every single day in the live stream. Whenever you have something like this before three o'clock, here's the key thing. There's a reason why I start hunting for setups after three o'clock AM Eastern time, because a lot of times price will want to have that liquidity sweep after three, not always, but a lot of times you'll have that key liquidity sweep after three o'clock. And that's what I'm hunting for. That's what I'm looking for. So when I see something like this, when I see something like your, what your USD had, I saw it come down to test that higher time for support right here. And I saw it have this push up and it does have a big four hour bearish imbalance up above, which is serving as a draw on liquidity and still is at this very moment. I understood that we had that draw on liquidity up above. I understood that we got this push up right here off this support right here. But here's the key thing. Whenever you have something like this, that looks, that looks too obvious. That looks too obvious. It looks too easy right before a key time, like three o'clock AM Eastern time. A lot of times that's a stop run. This the intention of this was not to move up higher, but to simply create liquidity. Let me say that again. The intention of this pop up right here was not to actually move up higher, but it was to create liquidity. And you'll see the signature a lot. Don't just take my word for it. Go study it yourself. I mean, we talk, I mean, literally in the, um, the 1% club inside my live streams, every single morning, we talk about this stuff and we were talking about this too. We were literally talking about this. Like this is, I did not trust this at push up. And I figured you know, it's probably going to pull the rug here. And well, here's what happens. It pushes up. It takes out the buy side. It has a retracement right here. Fair value gap. It comes up, retraces, rebalances it. And then it seeks the sell side down below, down into, because at this point it's three o'clock. This is three o'clock where we come to three o'clock. And now it's going to want to do what? It's going to seek the opposing sell side. Where is it going to seek that opposing sell side at? The sell side that it literally just created off that support right there, right before three o'clock. Again, we're implementing time. Time is very important. Where you get those liquidity sweeps, where you get those turtle soups is very important. This is why, like, you can't just go in and look for any old bounce that you see, any old bounce off any old level. You can't just do that. You're going to be implementing time as well. So I saw this bounce right here. I did see it, but it was also right before three o'clock. And I understand that signature very well at this point. And I understand that this is could just be a case where it's creating that liquidity off that support before it takes it here because it's just like. It looks too perfect. It's just a perfect bounce off the support. It's got the fair value. It's got the close, but it's right before three o'clock. Right before three o'clock, it does that. And then what is it going to do? It's going to take the opposing sell side that it literally just created right before three o'clock. You'll guys like every single day we see this signature, like literally almost every single fucking day we see the same signature happen. I talk about it on mic every single morning. Literally it repeats. And that's why I said I did not really trust it. I did not trust that move up right there. That's why it was not a setup because I need that three o'clock sweep of liquidity. And that is how you anticipate stop runs. That's the key time that you do it. And we see that same signature. Now this goes into the next time. Another time is eight o'clock. You'll see like the same signature a lot of times coming into New York session at eight o'clock. What you'll notice is you'll have something like this, but it'll be like right before eight o'clock. Okay. And I actually had that right here. And that's, you know, and that's the big reason why I bailed premature on Euro USD. It was still at the time that I took, no, this was a losing, one of my losing trades today. It was a very small loss, but 
and at the time that it set up, it was actually a little bit before eight o'clock. It was, it had some time, but we got this big push up right here off the higher time frame support right there. And it was kind of dilly dallying around right here. And then, so I said, I just didn't like it. So I, I pulled the band aid off and just cut it early. But also this is a stop run scenario that you'll see often. A lot of times you'll get a push up like that right before eight o'clock as well. Cause you'll see li liquidity sweeps. Another very key time for liquidity sweeps is like coming into New York session. Okay. What you'll see a lot of times is price will have like a push up. It'll have like a nice push up, a strong push up right before eight o'clock as well. Just like I was just demonstrating over there on your USD earlier, right before London, you'll see a lot. They'll see the same signature again, a lot of times right before eight o'clock. And that's to simply create liquidity for that eight o'clock sweep, the eight o'clock turtle soup. Okay. So we saw that right here today. This is a little bit earlier than, but I would really, because again, this is like, this started pressing up even before seven o'clock. So it is a little bit earlier. And again, that's why I took it because it, was, it, really, it wasn't like 30 minutes, you know, an hour. Um, like, yeah, for 30 minutes, you know, before eight o'clock or something like that, that's typically what you'll see. It's like really like right before eight o'clock is usually when you'll see it. You'll have like that push up that creates that liquidity. But this is a this is an example of it. it's like it pushes up right here and it's looking very strong it's looking very bullish and it creates liquidity and then it comes down and it takes it out later in new york session you'll see that signature often and again that is just another way that you can anticipate the, those um those stop runs you see that signature right before london you see the signature right before new york and then after a lot of times what you'll see after you get to run on those stops come new york or come london that's the real move that's the real move if it gives you all the proper signatures of course is after it has that liquidity sweep. So there's a reason why I always look for that liquidity sweep after three o'clock. There's a reason for that. That's why I see stuff like this all the time and it's the same stuff repeats. And it's just, it most, vast, vast, vast majority of the times I'm correct on, you know, what that stop run happening is because it's right before three o'clock and it's so intention is just to create liquidity right there. That's what happens guys.